morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'm glad that you've been able to join me again. I'd like to read you some verses from Deuteronomy chapter 33. And I'd like to read you verses 25 to 27, please. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heavens in thy help and in the excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall destroy them. Marvellous words again this morning as we read God's word. Isn't God's word wonderful? The Bible tells us that it's the everlasting word. It's God-breathed, inspired by God. And it's tremendous words. It says, he will thrust out the enemy from before thee. Now, today it might seem a difficult day for some. It might seem that the enemy is uh, all around us and the, the way forward is difficult. Can I say that our God is able to thrust out the enemy before us? But the thought I want to bring to you this morning is simply this. Shoes and strength. Shoes and strength. Do you ever feel weary in your walk for the master? Has your strength almost gone? Then fear not. For verse 27 says this, The eternal God is our refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. And those words are marvellous words. Can I just say that we need to stop and perhaps ponder just for a moment. Do you notice how, how, how that is phrased? It says, the eternal God. Not the gods of this world, not the gods of time, but the God of eternity is our God, is our refuge. And so if the way is difficult and hard, he is our refuge in times of trouble. And underneath it says, are the everlasting arms. Again, the everlasting arms. These arms are dependable. They cannot and they will not fail us. What a promise. He not only carries us as babes, but he also makes us stand on our feet like men. And that's important. We grow, we mature in him. Verse 25 says, Thy shoes shall be iron and brass. And as thy days, so shall thy strength be. Here are two things provided for us who are just travelling through this world. Pilgrims in this world. We love him. We are travelling to a, towards a new country, a heavenly country. The two things that are provided are shoes and strength. We who are the children of the king will not walk barefoot. Our shoes will not be of the everyday type. They will have durable soles so that we will be able to handle the roughness of the way and tread upon the enemy. We can be sure that we will have protection proportionate to the way that lies ahead. And as for strength, it will continue as long as as our days. Don't be worried about today and your strength for today. He has promised to be your strength. As your days, so shall your strength be. It will meet all that will come our way. The words are few. As thy days, thy strength. But the meaning is full. It may be today that trials may come or the master may give us a work to do that will require much strength. With confidence, we can take the task on, knowing that he prepares and provides all that we need. Shoes to walk and strength to work. Isn't it wonderful? Go out and work for the master today. Work for him. Give all your energy. Do all that you can for him. For days are short. Jesus is coming soon. We must do our best to let everyone know the good news of Jesus Christ. He'll supply all you need. Walk in his footsteps and we will know great victory and great reward. God bless you today as you go out in his strength. God use you and keep you. And I'll see you the same time in the same place tomorrow morning. God bless.